first record that we made it was just like the very beginnings of, of my sort of endeavor into music. Um, so it was kind of more experimental, I guess. And yeah, we didn't we didn't necessarily know what it was going to sound like. We just wanted. I just knew she had a good voice, and you know, you sort of as you as you she was pretty much just a, a beginner singer when we met, and so those are the years when you need to just identify what you're good at and what you like playing the most and what has the best um, result on stage. So we just didn't know at that point, so it was a little more eclectic. And, um, in some ways it's cool that way, but I think that would be considered um, so, something that gets improved upon as you, as you um, record more records. Which Driftwood kind of was more focused, I think, more intentional. Yeah, we identified some things that were enjoyable for us and for other people and we sort of capitalized on those. We had met just at Mother Hips shows because she was a, a, a Mother Hips fan and so I, I knew I knew her sort of, I didn't really talk to her very much but then it was just at a party one night and someone handed her a guitar and she sang and I, I just didn't know that she could sing and something about her combination of her and her voice just blew me away and so we started making music together at that point. It seems to have helped quite a bit just to sort of get us on people's radars, you know. Um, we've, we've definitely seen uh, better attendance at shows and uh, record sales have gone up. You know, when that happened, we wanted to redirect people to our original music, which is our passion and really what we do. Um, and, and it's been cool to see people check out the videos and then go a little bit deeper and, and find our records and come to our shows. And it's worked really well. When, when, when we first saw that Hollow Notes song just going viral, you know, obviously we were thrilled. And then after a certain point, we were thinking like, Ooh. Oh no, this is going to ruin all of our hard work that we, that we did. You know, we want to be identified with our own songs. That's all, that's all I care about. And uh, so we were pretty concerned about that, but it turns out that it, it, people have been really digging our original songs. And like Nikki said, that um, Driftwood has been selling like crazy and um, people at the shows aren't like screaming out too often for those cover tunes. No, people have been really cool, really yeah. respectful at shows and just appreciating the, the original songs, which is all you, we can hope for. Yeah. For me, I mean, I think most kids just want to play play guitar and, you know, get into Led Zeppelin and stuff and you just, you just say like, that's what I want to do. But I never really did anything about it until I was in, uh, pretty much in college. And, uh, it just happened so quickly for me and with my band, the Mother Hips. I barely even knew how to play guitar, and all of a sudden we were getting, you know, major record label attention. And I felt like in that way it sort of chose me. I mean, I was just sort of messing around, and then the next thing I knew, we were signed to a major label and touring all over the, the country. And since then, you know, you can always just quit whenever you want. With a lot of choices can be made, and um, I just like doing it because. I love writing songs, I love singing harmonies, and I was never going to work 9 to 5, that was never an option for me, and it's just what I've always done. He made me do it. Well, I got my first guitar when I was 17, and I started playing, and I, when I found out I could play a song that was only two chords and sing along to it. That was a pretty magical moment to be able to play a song and sing it at the same time. That was like pretty cool. Um, and then I just played in my dorm room and during college and, you know, have a couple of beers and play for some friends and it really didn't branch out any further than that. It just happened that I was at a party with Tim and, and I kind of did that same thing. Maybe subconsciously I wanted you to notice me, I don't know. Didn't seem like that though. It was no, I mean, offhand. it was very offhand. <laughs>